Next one we're going to go over, shoulders. I'm just going to show you the right arm, the left arm is the same. We are going to start again with your checklist, boom, pack the air. We are going to do external rotation and then work through it. So we're starting, boom, with the hand facing outwards as I'm trying to externally rotate. I'm rotating at the shoulder externally as much as I can. So I'm constantly trying to externally rotate. Then I'm going to start moving it through its full range of motion. We adduct, sorry, adduct across our body as much as we can. I'm not using my other joints, right? To cheat, to cheat, to cheat. We try to keep everything nice and still. So externally rotate, boom, adduct across our body as much as we can until you can't go anymore. Then I'm going to continue to go up, up, up. Notice what I'm doing with my shoulder. I'm not compensating with my scapula. We're not, so pack that scapula down and don't let that lower back arch. It's super easy for us to be like, look, Jared, I have really good shoulder range of motion. I can get a way up here and straight back. Well, your scapula is shrugged and your lower back, your lumbar spine is arched. So that is not a true shoulder range of motion. That's other joints helping it. We're trying to just expand that shoulder capsule here. So again, external rotation. Boom, I come across. I'm slowly making my way touching that end range tissue that I usually don't touch because it's new, it's getting access, we're laying collagen, we're getting strength, boom, I get to this position, I can't go anymore, so I'm going to start to go out to the side, again, I'm still packed down here, eventually I'm going to have to start internally rotating the shoulder, I can't go any further, so I have to start internally rotating the shoulder to get into shoulder extension, as I'm still trying to push as far into that range as possible, as I go around, I have really good shoulder extension. You might not be able to go this far, and that's fine. But I'm continuing that internal rotation, internal rotation, as I'm pushing, 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 getting further back. And then I'm coming down to the side of my leg. Reset, take another breath, pack it down, and let's go the opposite direction. I start with internally rotated shoulder. I get into extension, and I slowly unwind that internal rotation. So you notice my thumb slowly starts to come out as then we go around. Come on, come on, keep going. And I'm really intensely trying to push to that end range tissue. As I then come to the front, I get to here. If I go like this, I'll cheat. So I have to kind of come down as I rotate into that external rotation and down. Beautiful. That's the shoulder car right there. Whew, it is intense. It is awesome trying not to cheat. Is super important. If you wanted to see it from the side quickly, I'll do one, but I'll have to rotate. I work across. Not trying to cheat or compensate. Boom, around. Eventually, I'm going to internally rotate. You'll see that thumb go down and all the way around into the internal rotation. Boom, the opposite direction. As I work, 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 work through it. And back. That's the shoulder. 